all of his employees. You want to be a manager? I can teach you. You want to move up? I can teach you. You want to know how business is ran? Well, I can teach you that too. And he's quite literally bodybuilding and working at Dairy Queen. It's, it's literally his life. He wants to become a professional bodybuilder. Um, it happened. He even dropped college to continue lift, uh, weightlifting and working. He's already paid off college in the one year of working as a full-time manager. And the dude is seriously like, I can work 60 hours a week and still go lift like 50 hours a week. That's great. I can do that. And it's like, oh my God, you're crazy. And I quite literally saw him change his body in 90 days. He, he dropped flat, all of it. He dropped over 80 pounds just by working out every day. He goes to the gym every day. He lives, breathes, eats, sleeps gym besides work. And he was like, hell yeah, let's go get you in shape, bro. I'll get you on the workout that I started in the beginning. We'll see how it fits you. And if it doesn't work out, we can make adjustments. This is why everyone's different. And seeing his experience firsthand is like, oh my God. No, he doesn't have kids. Get out of my he sit. This is a solo job. I've got the stream in my sights. Oh no! Elephant egg is gonna snipe our stream. Good guy, Greg. <laughs> Does he have kids? Actually, no. He doesn't have kids. He understands that I gotta work out, that I'm gonna work out in the mornings. And this is where he's adjusting his schedule to fit mine and his needs and that we're going to work out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, everything else is up to me. So if I was to work out like Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, that's fine too. I'll probably end up do, just doing cardio while I heavy weight train with, you know, I'll be lifting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays with cardio at the end of the day to pull more calories. Um, I know about working out. I used to be in the Marine Corps, guys. I know what it's like to be fit and thin. Um, I did have a six pack at one point in my life. Um, it was, it wasn't like, oh, he's ripped. No, I wasn't that guy. I drank enough water. Um, those folks who look like monsters and have six packs like crazy and eat whatever they want and work out like crazy, those guys are usually juicing because not everyone can just hold a six pack for no reason. Um, usually that's a sign of dehydration as well. So just so you guys know, like a six pack is not technically normal. You're either dehydrated or your physique, your genetic makeup allows it to happen. That's, that's it. Yeah, great music. They either, by genetics alone, they can have one and do whatever. Two, have one because they're juicing, you know, steroids. Or three, they're dehydrated. Those are the three circumstances. Genetics, steroids, or they're dehydrated. Victory! Victory! Everyone has a six pack. It might just, it just might be under a one pack. That's a keg, bro. Wow. There's a six pack in every keg. Don't you worry, my friend. Don't you worry. Sucks. Love the music, by the way. No problem, Kuwait. This was actually music through you guys. It's just hiding under my keg. Yep. I got a six pack. I got a few six packs under here, bros. I got abs galore underneath this thing. <laughs> it's a snack pack. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> wow, really? Oh my goodness, whoa. Well. Yep, it sure is a snack pack. It's like, mmm, goodies. You mean a six pack of Corona? No, good God, no. I mean like a six pack of uh, Budweiser Tall Boys. To battle! To battle, my friends! Yeah! Six packs? No, what am I called again? 
What? Steel Reserve. Yeah, you drink Steel Reserve. Okay. You drink Steel Reserve Punch. They're not bad either. All right, let's get some of my music in here. Exclamation request song there. I like this one. It's a bass. It's it's got bass in it, guys. So rip headphone users if you don't turn it down a little bit. Adjust for sound. And just chilled. Oh my goodness, that would be hilarious. We pop smoke and unleash hell. <laughs> Everyone go to one grid square. <laughs> Which square? Are you serious? Are they gonna are we gonna do that? I think everyone's moving to grid nine right now. <laughs> <laughs> ripped my ears. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys. I barely have it up This is one of my favorites. It was a remix made for Persona 4 guys. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna sit here? Oh, this is gonna be nice <laughs> Doing it I I'm doing it <laughs> I'm stopping in grid nine. Like yeah. <laughs> awesome. Some duck hunt coming up. I know, right? Yeah. There's so much smoke, I can't see what's going on. Are we all chilling? Oh my goodness. I'm going to chill like right here in the border. Like right here in the back of the border.
Remixes, my friends. Remixes. Bot does not accept me. Rip. Okay, it's exclamation request song. What? There we go. My bad, guys. My bad. I had turned it off. I turned it off. Go ahead and retry. Retry, guys. I screwed up. Sorry. Song requests are enabled. There you go. There you go, man. We got it out there. Go, crew! Get those rounds in him! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Boom! Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm killing this guy coming at our uh, base to cap it right now. Oh, he's dead already. Nice. Here the town sounds like a bee. Yeah. Yeah. Get them songs in, guys. Get them songs in. Yeah. I gotta go full speed to get up uh, some speed to kill this guy in front of us. This uh, Omaha. Oh, is that you right next to me? I'm about to ram right into you. There you go. Dang it. Alright, I'm slowing down. He's uh, about to stop. He's moving out of range. Okay, I'm moving up towards you now. He's just kind of like turning around and zooming away. Yeah! Oh my goodness, I am late. Let's get a game, let's get a game raffle going. This is for... Squishy the Suicidal Pig. Let's get those games out there, man. Let's get them games out there, my friends. Haha, <laughs> we got people capping them right now. They're doing a complete turnaround. They're rushing to turn around. Oh, will our rounds hit? Oh, shit. Oh, we shot over. They were turning. It's a secret between you and me. Yeah. What he said. 